Imagine a tingling sensation abruptly traveling up your body, leaving you weak and in some cases paralyzed. No cure for Guillain-Barre syndrome, but treatments can ease symptoms. Most people recover from the disorder through some experience, lingering weakness, numbness, fatigue, even paralysis. But Thursday afternoon, he got his flu shots. By 10 o'clock Friday morning, he had chills and started feeling weak. And by 4 that afternoon, he was having spasms. At the hospital, his family says doctors made a preliminary diagnosis. They said that he was showing signs of the, the, the Guillain-Barre syndrome. Doctors diagnosed the 56-year-old with Guillain-Barre syndrome, a rare disorder in which your body's immune system attacks your nerves. And in rare cases, can be the result of a flu shot. Cedar filed a federal claim through the National Vaccination Injury Compensation Program on Sherelle's behalf. And Sherelle isn't alone. There are thousands of cl ongoing claims right now. The large majority of claims that we see are flu and tetanus vaccines are pretty common. Americans are well aware that a number of prescription drugs that have been licensed as safe have been found to be unsafe after they're used by millions of people. And yet, when it comes to vaccines, there's somehow this separation made. The vaccines couldn't possibly be the same. You know, one of the kind of shocking things about vaccines is that there's very little safety testing. If you have a normal drug, let's say Vioxx or Viagra, um, if you want to bring that to market, typically FDA requires you to do double blind placebo studies. So you take 9,000 people, give them the pill, 9,000 people, and give them a pill that's identical except it's just sugar. And then you look, you watch typically for around five years and see if there's harm. Yes. Oh, with vaccines, all of those requirements are waived. My dad was forced to get a flu vaccine against his will. He experienced side effects almost immediately. Tingling sensation, numbness, dizziness, irregular heartbeat leading to racing, and fatigue. Dad hadn't ever had the flu in his life, despite working in healthcare for 33 years. On May 15th, 2013, after countless tests and a lack of diagnosis, he was given the diagnosis of GBS. This picture was a week before my father passed away. <clears throat> Big Mike Bailey succumbed to neurological damage caused by the flu shot on July 27th, 2017. He was 62 years old, a man who otherwise had been one of the healthiest 58-year-olds you could have ever laid your eyes on. It has left us all without an amazing husband, father, and friend.